Hi friends, Sparklet here. This is my sixth film about our trip to Norway. Today I will take you to Eidfjord and on the way tell some interesting facts about Norway. Driving to the tunnel very long. Norway only has a population about 5.4 million, meaning it's one of the least densely populated countries in Europe. What makes Norway unique? The fjords, mountains and northern lights of Norway are known throughout the world, as is the capitalism with a conscience philosophy. It is famous for its Vikings and folklore, being eco-friendly and oil production. Also, many inhabitants of Norway are ski fanatics and Tesla drivers. But other than obvious, how much do you really know about this Scandinavian country? Get comfortable, have your favorite hot drink handy and watch my film with some interesting facts about Norway. We are driving from Sandefjord to Eidfjord and right now entering Eidfjord. We are in the fjord. Yes. People live here. Mm -hmm. People camp here in their campers. Camp here. Eidfjord is one of the branches of the Hardangenfjord. It's located near the mountain plateau Hardangervida. That's marvelous. The scenery around Eidfjord is magnificent. Wonderful valleys were almost vertically carved into the rocks by glaciers and rivers. The main highway that rises from the Hardengervida plateau to Eidfjord passes through a series of spiral tunnels and pedestrian can set off along the old scenic road that cuts through the gorge. Edgeford is a tiny, charming village with a lazy vibe, very picturesquely nestled in an arm of the fjord. Here you can find excellent accommodation options, from stylish hotels with panoramic windows on the fjord to campsites located at the water's edge. Moreover, you can settle both on the shore of the fjord and on the shore of the lake, located a little farther inward from the fjord itself. Eidfjord is the stunning or oh, final point of the Hardengervida National Road. In Eidfjord you can also rent a boat or kayak for exploring the fjord and fishing. Go to watch those sheep. Okay, they are so so beautiful. Let's go watch the sheep. In Norway, the sheep roam around freely to glaze in the mountains. They eat and move however they like, and that shows on their strong wool and flavorful meat. Then, and most importantly, it's a happy life. There's your friends, the sheep. Ah. Ah. Yep. They have no problem. That's where they live. They are grass. <laughs> they have red marks in their ears. Oh. But these sheep, they don't have bells. Right. Remember we saw yesterday? Sure. The ones with the bells. Let me zoom in on those sheep. And these look very hungry. They, well, they, they just had their, uh, their fur removed, their oh. wool. That's okay. why. Okay. They're starting their breakfast, maybe. Yeah, you know, people, people cut the wool from sheep so they can make clothes. Okay. <laughs> and the sheep don't seem to mind at all. It's like a massager. It's like, yeah, I'm ready to get rid of yeah, this. They like it. I'm ready for this haircut. Yeah, look, look. Let's walk across the street that way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and this. I, I was watching this and thinking that if there is a heaven of the world, this is a, one of them. This is one of them. Yep. Nice. Let's get that little house way in the distance there. See it? Yeah, I see. It's a very beautiful place to live. 
Look at that, that little house. Now watch, watch how little that house becomes when you zoom out. It's just whoop, gone. <laughs> that Norway has a land border with Russia. It's around 2,000 miles from Eidfjord to the north of Norway. Although there is just one road crossing the Norway-Russia land border. Still higher than we were. Not much. Not much. Two feet. It gets more narrow and more narrow and more narrow. I don't know where it takes me. We're just exploring. I don't know where I'm taking us either. <laughs> <laughs> there is a house in nowhere. Yep. Looks like... It's really at the end of nowhere. No, road continues. Road continues. Modern and ancient skiing were invented in Norway. An ancient rock carving at Rødøy in northern Norway shows that people used a form of skis to get around in the Norwegian mountains as long ago as 4,000 years. This one should come as no surprise given the Norwegian obsession with skiing and their success at international level. Sushi Norway introduced salmon sushi to Japan. While sushi is absolutely a Japanese invention, they did not use salmon in the dish until it was suggested by a Norwegian delegation in 1980s. Cheese slicer and aerosol spray can also invented in Norway. The cheese slicer was invented in 1925 and has become a staple of the old Scandinavian kitchens and many other around the world. The aerosol spray can was invented by a chemical engineer in 1927. This is a place where we are going to have our breakfast lunch. Way over there. Too. Yes. Far away. Very nice. Okay, ready for lunch? Yeah, ready. That's where we're parked. Yes. <laughs> hell. Norway is home to hell. Yes, really. A little over 1,000 Norwegians can say they live in hell. The small village is located around 650 kilometers from Eidfjord to the north of Norway. We're driving through a beautiful fjord. No one knows how long Norway's coastline is. It's known throughout the world for its jagged mountains and stunning fjords, but believe it or not, no one knows for sure just how long Norway's 
epic coast is. Only one thing is for sure, it's very long. You can see the mountains through the roof here. Oh, this is beautiful. Now we're going to go right to the point where you set the map. Let's see what's there. Very beautiful town. Yes, it is. Very rare people who we are seeing here in Norway, sitting in the car and driving through the country. Polar night. Is there six months of darkness in Norway? The polar night can last days to months depending on your location. On the North Cape, the sun remains under the horizon for more than two months. You have arrived. <laughs> this is where you That's said your it. your point. That was your point. Another fact about Norway. Income and wealth of all residents is on public record in Norway. Everyone living in Norway has three figures taken from their annual tax return published. Their annual income, income tax paid, and total wealth. The thought behind this concept is that tax evasion becomes much more difficult to accomplish. If you are recording a low income and or wealth, but are driving around in a brand new Tesla, the authorities are going to get suspicious. Diversity. Oslo is Norway's most diverse city. Of the 648,000 people in Oslo, 190,000 were born to immigrants or are immigrants themselves. That's really 30% of the city's population compared to around 15% in the country overall. The largest ethnic minority in Oslo is Pakistani, followed by immigrants from Sweden, Somalia and Poland. What is a Norwegian personality like? A strong sense of family and national identity, a love of nature, a desire to help those in need and a willingness to work with others to reach a worthwhile goal. These traits are an integral part of Norwegian culture. In my next film, I will tell you the story about the rock we picked in Hardanger Vida and brought to Latvia. This rock is very interesting. Look, it's just a regular rock, but it's split right in two, and there's this dark mineralization right there, kind of like a crystal. Like and subscribe to my channel. Follow the people living in this world without borders. Watch my videos, get positive emotions, and enjoy your own life. Your Sparklet.